a visual image of when flint is scraped together, sparks come off the flint, and those sparks ignite the fire and bring warmth and light to the group. And that's the metaphor for collective wisdom that informs the concept Pach Pacht. And that means uh, what you do, your smarts, your knowledge, are, are good for the collective people, are good for the Tamich, the land, the ecology. The Chaptik stories have a pedagogical aspect to them, and the Chaptik actually means the, the burning ember that's passed from earlier generations to this generation to ignite new understanding. And it's a practice of collective wisdom being passed on to the next generation so that this generation can live well and continue that collective practice. And that's the reciprocal relationship that makes teachers so important. The Colonial Historical Project, there's been a lot of effort to erase our stories, erase our languages, and it's clear that uh, this is not sustaining. We need to change the way we're doing things, the way we relate to each other, the way we relate to the natural world, and we need Seelik, indigenous knowledge. That's uh, applied to this place, this, uh, this place in the world, much more responsibly than it has been. It's for sucks. Now it's for acknowledges that Seelik, which includes the Sukhanakinuk, the Okanagan, all of the peoples whose language is in Seelikjin. We've been here for 10,000 years or more, and we've learned how to live in a good way with this land, this ecology. So we can, we can learn from that. What's important for us is to become the story, become the continuing story of very diverse communities collectively creating a sustaining future.